Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to cover all the tools and functions that are under the Insert tab. Now this is a, a lengthy video because there's a lot of tools that you have um, and I want to make sure I break them down specifically. Okay, so the first one we have here is an image tool and that lets us upload any image to the document either from our computer, the web, Google Drive, our photos, or by a website link. So let's click somewhere where I want a photo and I'm going to go Insert Image and go to Web and I'm going to type in MacBook Pro 2017 and I see some cool MacBook Pro images. I like this image right here with the Apple. I select it and I say insert. So here comes my photo and I've inserted it. Now again you can always click on it, right click, and I can even go to crop image or image options and this is where I can you know, do some real minor uh, corrections to the image. I can recolor it. Um, I can do some, you know, whatever effects I want to do to it and say, let's do this right here. Let's bring up the brightness a little bit. There we go. And then I can also go to that image and right click and I can say crop image and basically drag to where I want to crop the image. And there we go. I've cropped it. Now let's get rid of that. My next option is I can go to insert link, which is the exact same thing as a hyperlink like we did earlier. Um, by going to the chain right here on the menu toolbar and then if I go down the insert equation does the same thing it brings up like we did with view the equation toolbar I'm going to turn that off and then I'm going to go back to insert drawing is pretty cool this lets you basically insert a drawing while you're in the document so I'm basically going to do just a basic shape here and maybe I'm doing something with um, a flow chart here you know like step one and then I'm gonna come over to sh arrows shapes and I'm gonna do something like this and then draw another shape and then you know basically put in some text here and say like step two um, and then I hit save and so I basically put in a really quick drawing inside my Google Doc and I'm gonna hit delete right now and get rid of that if I go to insert, um, I can also insert a chart. So I can go to pie, line, column, and bar. I can even insert um, from sheets, something I've already created, but let's do pie. Now something I want you to pay attention to really quick is in order to edit the data in this um, pie chart, I need to click edit in sheets and it's gonna pull that up. Uh, in an earlier video attempt, I didn't click it in time and it went away. When that happens, click on the pie chart go up to the drop down arrow and say open source and it's going to take you to that um, spreadsheet so if i come in here in this spreadsheet and i say 30 notice it's going to change it 10 whoa it's 120 10 let's make this 7 sure 127 and then we'll, we'll be done with it and i'll hit the x and now notice my chart should be changed um, let's go back to that source all right, and then let's make sure 30 and hit enter. All right, so that should save it. Um, and I'll come over to here and update. Okay, so notice up here, you see where it says update chart? I was wondering why it wasn't live. Update it, and there it goes. It makes the chart correct. Okay, little panic attack. So if you don't see your chart look correctly as it's, as it's shown in Sheets, Please make sure that when you're here, you click the update function and it'll fix your chart for you. Um, again, if you want to change like team four, team one, team two, remember you go back to the source um, and then you click in sheets and I'm going to put example so you can see what I'm talking about. Go back to the doc and say update and you should see example as one of the uh, sections of the pie chart. Okay, I'm gonna delete that now. Go back to insert table. This is how you can make a table. So if I come, let's do a two by, let's do a three by three. And there's my three by three table. So now I've inserted the table and I can put whatever I want there. Go to insert footnotes, nice. So if I highlight something in the text, I can go insert footnote. And down here I can put a link to wherever that's located at. Um, maybe this is a research paper um, or some other purpose of identifying where that, you know, I found that source. 
Okay, so again, that was found at www.google.com. So moving on, if I go down to the insert tools, I can go down to special characters. And this is where I can put in something that, you know, is unique that I need a character for. Even draw a symbol here, that is pretty cool. Um, that you can actually draw something. And I have no idea what I'm drawing. I'm just scribbling. And here we go. And then if I hit refresh, let's do this again. Um, let's do something like this. And then looks like what it does is it actually finds something that looks similar to that drawing. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, so it looks like you can draw to search for it or you can search for it. So if I'm looking for something like an arrow and I do this, it's going to find anything a tree looks like that and an arrow looks like that. So it inserts that symbol. Um, so that's a nice function. All right, so going back down insert, um, you have the option to do horizontal line. You have the option to do a page number. It'll put page numbers however you want. It'll do a page count, um, showing you how many pages are in there. It gives you that number. Um, page break actually separates it. So let's say I don't want this on this page and I go insert um, page break. So it took whatever was here and it broke it up and nothing is going to be typed down here ever again unless you undo that page break. And then going down, you can uh, insert a header um, and put a header on your document like so. And then, of course, a footer. So you're going to have a footer at the bottom. Um, and, of course, you can do different from first page if you want. And then let me click off the header and footer. And then go down insert. Now, bookmark I showed in a previous video. That's really neat. You can go find something, highlight that something like, let's say, technology. And I can go insert bookmark. So I can also get a link to that bookmark. All right. And then that link basically um, will allow you to link it. So what I'm going to do now is I can go up to this hyperlink. And notice in the previous video, um, let me come over here and say change. That's where I can actually go to my bookmarks and find the bookmark I created and link it to it. So that way, when I click on it, it takes me there. So that's a really nice function. Um, the last thing you can do, it's really neat, is you can actually insert a table of contents. Um, and what you have to do in order to make a table of contents is click somewhere. Let me bring this down like so. So this is our table of contents. And I can click right here. And I, what I need to do is go right here to insert that table of contents. I go insert, header, and I'm going to say this is an example, title, and hit enter. And then at the top, all right, hold on a second. Let me go here, go insert. And it should be, oh, it's sorry. It's under the format, paragraph styles. And this is where you do heading. So I did that wrong. You're going to go to heading. And you're going to apply to heading. And this is demo. And if you look up here, let's refresh it. It says demo. And then, OK, if I come down further, and I'm going to go format, paragraph style, heading one. I'm going to say um, test. All right. And so if I come up to the top and I hit refresh, notice I'm creating my table of contents. So it shows you exactly where that is. And you can actually click on that. And it'll take you right to the demo. And then if you come on test, you can actually click on that. So sorry about the confusion. Whenever you want to create a table of contents, all you have to do is go insert table of contents. I've already done it. So and then select it. And then what you do next is go to the page that you want to put on there your table of contents um, section. Um, and when you go to that page, you're going to click and you're going to go to format paragraph styles and click heading. And then when you do so apply heading and this is example two. 
and I'll scroll up to the top of my um, table of contents and hit refresh and notice it is going to keep making the table of contents for me for my book. So I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Um, it's full of some errors. I apologize. Um, but anyway, um, one of the errors I had is under special characters. When you draw a special character, it's only showing you what characters look like it and you can find them here and select them and then it'll insert that character for you. So you see it's inserting it right there. That was my fun little error in this video. And the other error I fixed was when you want to do the table of contents, if you're going to enter something that's going to go in the table of contents, it's not under the insert button, it's under format, paragraph styles, and you click heading. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you with all the functions that are in the insert menu button. Thank you so much for watching.